So I have a serious case of one-itis, um, really, really sad and depressed and okay. having a hard time to get over it. I saw the writing on the wall, um, mm -hmm. dated for a one and a half year uh, Broadway actress um, and got dumped after it. So I wish I had more time to tell how it got through that, but uh, plugged in, I was, was married, relate a lot to your, to our story, uh, got divorced, went through the divorced grinder. Was Wait, you married shade. this girl that you got the one itis for? No, 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 no. This I was married. Uh, yeah. And got divorced. And then all my friends went to her side. I was in, living in the, I, I'm living in the US and didn't know the culture, didn't have any friends. Mm -hmm. So what saved me was going back to the gym. I was mm -hmm. out of shape, so got really in good shape and start to date again, and then got involved with with a second chick, which is related to another guy that was relating to. Which one did uh, you pets. have one itis for? This is the one after the marriage. No, that that was uh, the the third one. That was after this pet okay. mom. Where do you live? So just. I live in the U.S. right now. I'm in Brazil. Uh, spent some some time with my dad. That's really sick. So okay, seems like. And, and where in the U.S. did you live when you were dating this uh, chick? So, you got the one I just for. Um, she lives in New York. I, I live in Seattle. Um, I work. I'm a rocket man. I, I work in a rocket company. Um, for. Wait, Matt, sorry. We she got... lives in New York, but you lived on the other side of the country. Yeah, yeah. So it was crazy. So you had a long she distance a... relationship. Yeah, so first well, red that's a big flag. No, no. I've talked a, about that yeah, before. Yeah. So have you seen my videos on long distance relationships? I did. I read your book okay. and from the start I told her she was there, she did a show, we got together because of an app, and I told her I don't do long distance. And right from the start, I read on the app she was bisexual, she mm -hmm. was okay with um ethical no monogamo no E and M, ethical yeah. no monogamos. Yeah, and she I wants said, to go and bang okay, other this... guys. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I, I said this so, would be a. So a why did you take thing. her seriously if you know she's all about that sort of lifestyle? At first, I didn't. It's like Rob was saying. I I, I decided to indulge, and right. I had a casual thing, and then she went back to New York. But man, she was gorgeous. She was feminine, and I never was treated like that. She was burnt. She was, she had really burning desire for me. Yeah. Um, after she went to New York, I said, okay, that's the, it. The chick's she got said, genuine burning desire for you. She doesn't want to go and fuck other guys. No. And like other guys what, are legit invisible to her. Exactly. And she went back to New York. I said, that's it. She said, no, we ha I like you. We had a good thing. Um, let's keep talking. I said, no, I, I've been there before. I don't want. One week, one week after, she bought a flight ticket to see yeah. me in Seattle. She came, she asked me, can I see you? I'm going to Florida. And I decided to do a layover in, in Seattle. Can I see you? I said, yeah. man, okay. Never had that. She went, she was gorgeous. Uh -huh. Thank my my bones off throughout the week. Um, yeah. I really, I, 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 I was indulging. I said, okay, I won't take her seriously. But like really, really slowly, she was, I, I was getting into her. And after that, she said, okay, come see me in New York. I never been to New York before. Um, I'll get. I was. I never went to see a show in Broadway. I'll get you a, a ticket to see a show with me mm -hmm. in Broadway. I went, and then. How long did you date her for? One and a half year. One and a half year. And when was and, the last time you saw her? Uh, we ended this three months ago, and never, never talked to her anymore. But man, it's been okay. really, really hard because. Yeah. No, I can tell. No, I can tell in your voice. Um, yeah. And, I'm, so about three months ago was the last time you talked to her. So why did you guys break up? Like, like what was the reason? I wish I could talk more, but I decided to put boundaries. There was so many things, so many built up. Like she would do shows, like volunteer shows where she would uh, strip for money. It's like Broadway bears. A lot of uh -huh. actors go there and strip. And so yeah. I don't like that. I don't want that. But it's for a good cause. I don't care. How and old are you, Rod? I'm 45. And how old was she? And uh, she was 42, but she she's 42, really good. And she's, and she's still behaving like this? Look, man, you're, you're like, love can look like crazy, right? Like yeah. a lot of people mistake crazy for love. And the way you're describing the run-up, like the crazy elements of, of it, 
guys get caught up on that. You have some great sex. She love bombs you. I love you so much and all that kind of bullshit. And then you're like, all of a sudden she's saying this, you're getting the experience, but then she goes and does something else. Like she's stripping for other men or she wants to go and sleep with other men because she wants to be ethically non-monogamous, right? And that's what crazy looks like, right? It's like say one thing and then do something completely, totally different out of character, right? Mm -hmm. Holding you, I love you, I want to be with you, you know, we're going to make something out of this. And then, you know, like next weekend, she's another city but and I, she's stripping for I a bunch of I know she dudes. didn't see any other guys. I, I do know she didn't because... I tried to, sure. I, I ended with her three times. Every time I, I finished, she brought, she bought a flight ticket and come sure. to see me and bang my, so. Again, crazy, <laughs> crazy can look like love. Like you don't want to confuse it. Yeah. You have to believe the actions, right? If, if mm -hmm. you set a boundary and you say, look, I can't take a girl seriously that's going to be taken off her clothes and stripping for other guys, then a girl that's got genuine burning desire that doesn't have any kind of issues or mental issues or BPD or anything like this, She'd be like, yeah, you know what? You're right. Because I value this relationship and, and you're that important to me that I can stop doing that. Exactly. Exactly. Right? And, and didn't end there. What ended is that one day she decided to go for a dinner with a single friend with her. And then yeah. she sent me pictures. Oh, there is a dance festival and I'm dance, dancing with guys. I said, no, I don't want that. Yeah. yeah. I don't so want to look, be in the environment. Yeah. Look, dude. What? I mean. If a chick's not going to follow your lead, she's not going to enter your frame. She's going to like a good relationship is going to be easy. It's not supposed to be hard. You're not supposed to be fighting over stupid shit. She's not going to be, you know, stepping out of bounds and doing things that compromise your love. OK, she's going to follow your lead. Right. She's going to basically follow the um, boundaries that you set. You know, I can't, and, and that's my I question can't be taking a girl serious. The only reason why you took her seriously, though, Rod, is because you don't because you didn't have better options, right? Exactly. If you I mean, had better options, if you girls... had more abundance, you would have looked at it and been like, that looks like crazy. I might spend some time with it and have some fun, but that's crazy. I'm not going to get attached. I'm not going to invite it in my so, life. I've got these options over here. Yeah, that, that, that's part of what happened. I, I, I try not to take her serious. I was trying, I, I was dating other girls too, but no yeah. to so as good as her, you know. Dude, and there's there's that, there's that, four that billion women on the planet. You can't tell me that there is not something better than this hoe. A Man, 42 year old hoe that's stripping for that guys. I disagree with you. That won't I, follow I, your I'm lead. I, I, I'm in Seattle. It's a woke city. It's depressing. Most of so I think this is the question I want to ask you because from your shows, then the ladies' night, it's horrible, and. I never dated a girl that was feminine. Uh, she really took good care of me. She would cook me meals. She, she would Can you buy get me. out of Seattle and go work for another company? Can you work for Elon Musk and do SpaceX? I don't think he's based Man, in I'm, Seattle. Exactly. I'm thinking of that. I, there, there's, I, I have an option to the current company I'm working. They have office in LA. I'm thinking yeah. of going there. I mean, LA is better than stuff. Seattle, but not by much. Like, you want to get yeah, to a state expensive. that's like more Texas, Tennessee, mm -hmm. Florida. Yeah. Like, I mean, you know, try I, to find a red state. See if you can get into like a red state. It, where's a, where's a SpaceX based? Texas. LA. Isn't it? Texas, but mainly LA. So, yeah, what see, I realized. Yeah, see if you can get your that, ass down to Texas, man. Uh, what I want is a big center where there's arts, entertainment. These are what I realized where women that take good care of their body and no, are no, healthy. No, 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 no. I'm going to stop you there. Look, arts, entertainment chicks, they're all, f they're, sorry, they're mostly all like you've just described. They're usually very attractive because they move and they dance and they take care of themselves sort of thing. But they've been with a lot of dudes. They're constantly out partying and dancing. Like, look, when they're out dancing and they're doing these shows, they're advertising themselves. These 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 artsy, attractive dancing Broadway show kind of like. Look, I've dated a few of them. I know exactly what you're dealing with. Yes, they're hot. Yes, they're great in the bedroom. Blah blah blah, and all that sort of stuff. But they're not long term relationship material. Like, you're not going to be able to invite them to your life. You're not going to have a good relationship with them. They are going to be a pain in your ass. They're going to step out of the bounds. You can't control me. They're all feminists. They're all, yeah, they are. It's not if they're a feminist, it's to what degree they're a feminist. And if you look at my red flag list, there's at least three red flags on that list that almost every Broadway, you know, dancer, uh, artsy sort of chick is going to violate. Right. So yeah. 
uh, like get comfortable. Like there's lots of very feminine, attractive women with a nice figure that don't do that stuff that are, that are just in the self care for the optics of, I want to be healthy and I want to have a nice looking body for my guy, not for 15,000 guys, right? Like they do exist out there. Um, I but I mean, if so you want to lean into the artsy depressed. cities and the gals, like you're going to be dealing with that more and more. You have to understand, Rod, there's, there's 4 billion women on the earth. It's incredibly arrogant to think for a minute, minute that she's the only one that can ever exist for you. There's loads and loads and loads of other way better women out there. I guarantee you in five years time, you're going to look back on this and be like, what the fuck was I thinking? Man, I hope so. Because you I'm will. getting old and not getting any younger. Uh, age plays a role and for the sample that you see on your shows for ladies night man most women that are really attractive and and i don't want to lower my standards because i take care of myself mm -hmm. you know i i want someone that is beautiful well and, there's well there's yeah. lots of beautiful women that i've seen on that show that are an absolute train wreck like we've had some hot women yeah. on that show and they're just like there was at least two or three that just broke down into tears and like like yeah. sobbing crying on the and, show and that's why i get so depressed because damage. it seems like I, I emotional don't damage yeah. that's that's what you're going to deal with and it's like cool man that's that's what it is i see it now i'm going to keep it at arm's length and i'm not going to fall for her bullshit and you're not fully unplugged yet rod like I'll, I'll be honest with you no woman today will ever have control over me when you're fully unplugged you'll never have one itis again because you see mm -hmm relationships you see women you see these dynamics for what they truly are right they say that you can love women or you can understand them but it's very very difficult to do both yeah. i've figured out how to do both right they will never have control over me ever again you need to get to that place where you have an understanding and you create an agreement with yourself that you don't allow yourself to get to that place ever again because you keep difficult bratty like women yeah. that are red flags, like a walking Chinese communist parade. Like you keep them out of your life. You don't, you don't fall for their bullshit. No, I agree with you, man. And I'm really trying hard. It's only been, not it's only been three months, Rod. I guarantee you within like, there's an old saying that, you know, somebody told this to me when I had one itis years ago, they said, you know, if you date a girl for like three years or something like that, it's probably going to take you three years to like totally forget about her. Right. Mm -hmm. So you dated yeah. this chick for a year and a half. You got another, you know, like year and change before you're totally going to forget about her, but you will forget about her. It's just a matter yeah, of time. Thanks, focus on you, focus mm -hmm. on your hobbies, focus on building a good network. If Seattle is not for you, you don't like, you know, like the wokeness, you don't like the city, then move to another city, man. Like as far as we know, dude, this is the only life we get. Maybe there's a bonus yeah, we, round when we die. Who knows? Yeah. But as far yeah. as we know, when we're walking this earth, this is what we get. So don't waste it living your life for some bullshit company, you know, lining their pockets with gold, working on problems that you may not totally care about. Because the thing that you care about right now that's holding you back is some random hoe in New York that takes off for clothes for other men. That's Thanks, what man. she is. Yeah. See her for yeah. what she is. Understand her for what she is. Take her off the pedestal, knock her down, and move on with your life and live it for yourself. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full-length podcast, you can find that over here, that clip's from. If you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here. And pin down below in the top comment, you'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line, books, and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.